Magandang araw po sa ating lahat. It's me again, Teacher Koy. At welcome po kayo dito sa Easy Math Tutorial. Nasa last part na po tayo ng factoring. So our topic for today is on how to solve word problem involving factoring and how to solve number problem involving quadratic equation. Pero bago po yan, if you are new to my channel, please pakisubscribe at pindutin yung notification bell para po maging updated po tayo sa lahat ng ating mga video. Solving geometric problems using factoring and solving number problems involving quadratic equations. So I have here the four steps. Four steps in solving word problems. Read through the problem and set up a word equation that is an equation that contains words as well as numbers. So, intindihin mabuti yung problem. Basahin mabuti para po maintindihan yung mga terms na ginagamit at saka yung makuha yung mga detalye na binigay ng word problem. Then, plug in the numbers in place of words wherever possible to set up a regular math equation. Kung ano po yung binigay ng mga detalye, yun po ang ating gagamitin para po makakuha po tayo ng equation. And use math to solve the equation. Since we're talking about factoring, so gagamitan po natin ang factoring para po masolve yung equation. At para din masagot yung katanungan sa word problem. We have your example number 1. The length of a rectangle is 5 units greater than twice its width and has an area of 33 unit, square unit. Find the measurement of the length and width of the rectangle. So, ang, ibinig, ang binigay dito sa word problem ay yung length ng rectangle, which is 5 units greater. So, it means plus than twice its width and has an area of 33 square units. Alam naman po natin yung area ng rectangle is equal to length times width. So, we will let L will be our length is equal to 5, to po 5 units greater. So, plus then twice its width 2 times w twice its width we will let width equals to w so ang mangyayari magiging, magiging ganito meron tayong length na quantity 5 plus 2w meron tayong width na w tapos area na 33 expand po natin 5 multiplied by w that is 5w 2w multiplied to w is 2w square is equal to 33. Okay, so using property of quality, we will add both sides by negative 33 para malipat si negative 33 dito. So mayayari magiging 2w square plus 5w minus 33 is equal to 0. Diba? So ito na pong trinomial natin. So, Let's factor this one. 2W squared plus 5W minus 33. So, the factor of this trinomial is 2W plus 11. So, quantity 2W plus 11 times the quantity W minus 3 is equal to 0. We're using the full method. Kung gagamitan natin full method, 2W times W, that is 2W squared. 2W times negative 3, that is negative 6W. Then, 11 times W, that is 11w 11 times negative 3 that is negative 33 so meron tayong like terms na negative 6w at saka positive 11w so the result is the middle term okay so equate po natin sila into 0 we have quantity 2w plus 11 is equal to 0 so magiging 2w is equal to negative 11 divide both sides by 2 Ang maiwan dito is W is equal to negative 11 divided 2 which is negative 5.5. Wala naman po tayong negative na value. So therefore, disregard natin to. Sa kabila naman, we have quantity W minus 3 equal to 0. Therefore, W is equal to positive 3. So therefore, ito po yung gagamitin natin. Yung value ni W, gagamitin po natin. Babalik po tayo dun sa ating equation kanina. Ito na po yun. Since we let L equal to 5 plus 2W, 
meron tayong W na 3. So, therefore, L is equal to 5 plus 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 5. So, our length is 11 units and our width is 3 units. Okay, so let's go to our example number 2. Example number 2 is the sum of two numbers is 22 and the sum of their squares is 250. Find the numbers. Okay. So, the sum of two numbers is 22. So, sum is the result of addition. So, may dalawang numbers. Pag in po natin, the result is 22. But, hindi po natin alam kung ano po yung dalawang numbers. Diba? That's why we will let x is equal to our first number. And since x is our first number, and the sum of the two numbers is equal to 22, so therefore, 22 minus x will be our second number. Diba? Then, the sum of their squares is 250. Pag in-square natin yung first number at saka si second number, the result is 250. Then, find the numbers. So, based po dito, makabuo po tayo ng equation na ganito. Diba? The sum of their squares is 250. So, square po natin si first number na x. That's why we have here x squared. Plus, quantity 22 minus x squared. Dahil in-square po natin si second number na 22 minus x is equal to 250. Okay? Okay, next. So, magiging ganito. Ito na po yung equation natin. x squared plus quantity 22 minus x square is equal to 250. So, i-square po natin ito. Kita square, di binomial, nga na yung nasa gitna. So, magiging x squared plus 22 squared, that is 484. Then, 22 times negative x times 2, that is negative 44x or minus 44x. Then, negative x squared, that is positive x squared, is equal to 250. Diba? Okay. So, combine like terms po natin. Using the property of equality, ilipat po natin si 250 dito sa kabila. So, we will add both sides by negative 250. So, magiging 2x squared. Ito si 2x squared. x squared plus x squared, that is 2x squared. Diba? Tapos, 44x plus 234. 234 is 484 minus 250. The result is 234. Then, equal to 0. Divisible by 2. So, we will divide both sides by 2. 2x two squared divide 2, that is x squared. 44x divide 2, that is 22x. Negative 22x. Then, 234 divide 2, that is 117. Then, 0 divide 2, still 0. So, ito na po yung trinomial natin. Let us factor this one. So, the factor of x squared minus 22x plus 117 is quantity x minus 13 times the quantity x minus 9. Then, equal to 0. Ito po yung factor ng ating trinomial. Then, we will equate this 2 into 0. So, x is equal to 13. Then, we have x is equal to 9. So, therefore, our 2 numbers is 13 and 9. Let's check kung tama po ba yung answer natin. Ito, the numbers are 9 and 13. So, x is equal to our first number. Then, 22 minus x, our second number. Then, the squares, the, then the sum of their squares is equal to 250. So, ito po equation. Substitute po natin si 9 at saka si 13. Ito na po. So, 9 squared is our first number. And our second number is 22 minus 9. So, the result is 13. Diba? Then, the square. So, 9 square is 81. 13 square is 169. Is equal to 250. 81 plus 169 is 250. Therefore, 250 is equal to 250. Tama po yung sagot natin. Okay. Our last example. We have the sum of two numbers is 16. And the sum of their squares is 146. Find the two numbers. So, medyo pareho lang ito doon sa ating previous example. So, we will let x be our first number. 16 minus x will be our second number. 
Diba? Hindi pa natin alam yung dalawang numbers. So therefore, we will let x be our first number. Then the sum of the two numbers is 16. So therefore, 16 minus x will be our second. Will be our second number. So makakuha po tayo ng equation na x squared plus quantity 16 minus x squared is equal to 146. Saan po ito galing? Dito, the sum of the squares is 146. So, pag in-square natin si first number at saka si second number, the result is 146. Okay. So, magiging ganito. Ito po yung equation natin. Ito. X squared plus quantity 16 minus X squared is equal to 146. So, i-square po natin yung binomial. Ito na sa gitna. So, magiging X squared plus 16 squared that is 256. Then, 16 times x, that is negative x, times 2, that is negative 32x or minus 32x. Then, x squared, this is negative x, so therefore, the result is positive x squared is equal to 146. Tapos, using the property of equality, we will add both sides by negative 146 para malipat si 146 dito sa kabila. Then, combine like terms. So, we have x squared plus x squared, that is 2x squared. Then, negative 32x or minus 32x, ito, plus 110. Saan galing sa 110? 256 minus 146, that is 110. Then, equal to 0. Then, divide both sides by 2. So, magiging 2x squared divided by 2, that's x squared. Negative th minus 32x divided by 2, that is minus 16x. Then, 110 divided by 2, that is plus 55, equal to 0. So, i-factor po natin to. Ang factor ng x squared minus 16x plus 55 is quantity x minus 11 times the quantity minus 5 is equal to 0. So, we will equate this two binomials into 0. So, mayroon po tayong x is equal to 11 at saka x is equal to 5. So, therefore, our numbers are 5 and 11. So, substitute po natin yan dun sa... So, substitute po natin sila dun sa ating equation. So, number the numbers are 5 and 11. Ito po, ito po yung equation natin. x squared plus quantity 16 minus x squared is equal to 140. Substitute natin yung first number. 5 squared plus quantity 16 minus 5 squared. So, makuha po natin si second number which is 11. Then, square. Diba? So, 5 squared plus 11 squared is equal to 146. The sum of their squares is equal to 146. So, 5 square is 25. 11 square is 121. 25 plus 121 is equal to 146. So, therefore, 146 is equal to 146. Tama po yung sagot natin. That's all for today. Thank you. Salamat sa pagbisita. And if you want the soft copy sa ating topic ngayon, andyan po sa description ng video na to yung email address ko. So feel free to message me. See you in my next video.